Hello everyone, and welcome back to Out of Mana. Today we're going to be looking at the Dungeon of Nalbuk. I think I'm pronouncing that correctly. I believe it's French. I'm not so good with French words. In the future, I'll probably just refer to it as the Amulet of Chaos, because I could actually read that. So without further ado, let's start a new game. Ah, uh, difficulty level. Griffin Tail, Tavern Song, Epic Guest, Zor's Nightmare. Uh, let's have a look. What's the difference between these two? Uh, heroes have more health, do more damage, more accurate. Enemies have slightly less health and are less accurate. Tavern Song. For those who enjoy tactical RPGs for their first playthrough or are all for beginners looking for a tactical challenge. Well, let's go with this one. It seems like the uh, the recommended one. Oh, you can change the narrator gender. That's kind of cool. I think I'll stick with I'll stick with how it is. Oh, and you can name your profile. Enter a name for this game. Nice and simple. Okay, so without further ado, let's start a new game. Really cool artwork. Or art style, should I say, rather than artwork. Reminds me a little bit of Fable. Original Fable. I'm not sure how the games panned out in the end, but I only played the first one. First chapter, A Feeling of Deja Vu, The Party Advances. A steely-eyed ranger, a brutal barbarian, a ruthless ogre, a wizardess with fiery hair, an agile elf, a wily thief, a dwarf, well, you know, just a dwarf. Together they have just crossed into the terrible dungeon of Nahelbuk. This dungeon's nothing to write home about. Don't know what we'll find inside here, but it stinks. That's easy. The ogre just took a dump five feet from the door. <laughs> I've got a strange feeling of deja vu. Because of the ogre shit? Have you been here before? I feel like I'd know if I had. Probably not. No one's ever got in here before. By the way, what is our quest? We must find the 12th statuette of Gladalfura. A statuette? It's written in the Tablets of Skellis that only a one-legged gnome from the northern forest, dancing by the moonlight in the middle of twelve statuettes wrapped in hand. <clears throat> As I was saying, only a one-legged gnome shall open the gates of Zaralbak and thus accomplish the prophecy. But what is this strange prophecy? No idea. We're only in it for the gold. That's why we came here. Yeah, and I knocked before coming in. And I called you a half-wit. Okay, ah. let's all get along, okay? Let's focus on the statuette. Do we have any idea where it's located? Like every statuette, it's in a treasure room, guarded by a powerful warlock. Battle! Hmm, maybe his powers are even greater than mine. Sounds a bit right. What kind of monsters live here? So, if you look at the random encounter table, these are the monsters in this dungeon. Several kinds of undead, giant spiders, orcs, and goblins. Hey, goblins! Underground trolls, warlocks, cursed knights, mutant rats, a bottle of oil, some toilet paper, two sponges, and ravioli. I think you're also reading your shopping list. So no dragons, right? Nah, well above our level, Cap. Anyway, let us go forth. Wow, that was an introduction and a half. So, um, what I'm gathering from this game is it's it's like a Dungeons and Dragons esque um, tactical RPG with a lot of tongue and cheek humor. So, yeah, I'm kind of looking forward to see where this goes. Moving the party around is easy. Just click anywhere on the ground. Control. Zoom in and out. Easy enough. Rotate Q and E. Okay. Halt! You arrived at a junction and must face three choices. Hmm. All those doors are closed and blocked off by a strange glowing seal. Weird. And I'm having another deja vu. Ooh, shiny, pretty. Probably some kind of magic lock we have to dispel. No way we're getting over by some goddamn door. My cousin Krimli always says, 
If it's magic, hit it harder. No, wait. But me? What was that noise? I'm trying to work out why they've uh, censored uh, one curse word and allowed the other one. Is that just to lower the rating of the game slightly? <laughs> Alright, find the members of your party. Oh, damn it, an orc. And I'm alone, of course, I'm alone! This is the perfect opportunity to discuss the matter of combat. A crucial subject when adventuring in mysterious dungeons. Open door! Gotta go! Me eat bad, go tripe! No, I I'm not done! Go away, you meanie! Oh, sounds like an elf. Anyway, be cool. He's alone. This shouldn't be a problem. Okay, every character has two action points. They can perform an action and move once per turn. They can also move further by using both action points, sacrificing their action. This is sprinting. Order is not a problem. This means you can move, then attack, or the opposite. Be careful as some actions will end your turn, even if your character still has two action points. Okay. Uh, move the ranger on one of the three tiles behind him. Okay. Like the melee attack and the action bar. Here you'll find an overview of the afflictions and status effects, which can affect characters and their durations in turns. You can also check in this box their dodge value, protection value, and threat level. Uh, a downward arrow means the orc is suffering from a penalty to his characteristics for two turns. Okay. So zero protection, zero percent dodge, and minus two. Okay. Here are the details of your precision. You have a positioning bonus, which makes sense. However, if your attacks succeed, your enemy may still dodge or parry your blow. Okay. Attack the orc. Take this chicken shit. The orc is not feeling so good. Uh, use the middle mouse button on him to access statuses and affliction. Orc is weakened, this means he is less efficient and he's all banged up. Right, okay. So he's got a penalty of minus one to movement. Kill the orc. So do I have to click that again? I do. Nice. Man, imagine if uh, Dungeons and Dragons was that fast. <laughs> At the end of combat, orc characters gain some experience, gain a baseline share, a varying amount depending on their actions or their luck. Cool. And if the character is unconscious, they will suffer a small penalty to experience. Well, at least you still get XP, even if you are unconscious. Alright, so the ranger has lost some health. Heal him by giving him a potion. Or with the party heal button. Health does not regenerate between battles, so you'll have to make sure to heal your wounds after combat. Okay, heal everyone. Well, it tastes bad. Reminds me of my granny's soup. Cool. Right, so an elf. Hooray! You saved me! Uh, this is. Uh, yeah, he, he's. Uh, I mean. They're gone. There were more than one? So many I couldn't even count them. But I killed one, which sent them all running. Are you all right? It was horrible. I found myself in these disgusting toilets. But where are the others? Uh, what's going on? 
as that moronic dwarf. He must have triggered a magic trap. The whole party's been scattered around this floor. We need to find them. Um, how about we don't find the dwarf? <laughs> no, we'll need his act if there are other orcs. Don't you think you could handle them by yourself? Yeah, that's... Even the greatest heroes have their limits. Anyway, let's not hang around here. <laughs> Plus, with all the hate to dwarves. <laughs> I love dwarves. Is it possible to... No, okay. So I can only move the camera around. I can't, um... Oh, I guess I could do that, but that's that's not ideal. That's lighting effect. Is there anything clickable here? No. Maybe it's not that type of game. Ah, here's the thief. Yippee! Plus, he's not the dwarf. Silence. You'll get us spotted. There are orcs in this room, and they've got bows and arrows. We need to devise a plan. Okay, I got a plan. You attack them while I stand guard, just in case somebody ambushes us. Eh, sounds like something a coward would say to avoid a fight. Absolutely not. It's very rational behavior. I've got a bow, too. I can shoot arrows. Yikes! Another good reason to take cover. When you're behind an obstacle, you're less likely to get hit. Even by friendly fire. Now we've got no choice if we want to move ahead. We've got to get rid of those orcs. How many are there? I can only see one of them right now. But the others must be close. I got you. A group of one. I hate people who make a fuss over nothing. When fighting alone, charging head on is fine. But when in a group, a battle must be planned. Careful positioning can save you from crushing defeats. <laughs> right. <laughs> Uh, during the planning phase, you can deploy your characters before combat starts. You can position your characters in the highlighted area. Movement doesn't cost action points during the planning phase, so you can take as long as you want to strategize. Okay, so... I mean, yeah. There's, there's one, so I guess... Oh, okay. Full cover can protect you from range attacks, and they give you... They give your opponent a 50% penalty to their precision. Uh, I'm trying to... There we go. Hide behind half cover will not fully protect you from range attacks, but the attacker will suffer a 25% penalty to precision when attacking you. Position him on one of the highlights of tiles so that he's protected from range attacks and can sneak up to the orc. Right, initiative is ranked depending on the character's courage. If their courage is equivalent, the high agility is prioritized, then the level of the character. Okay, All right, I've only played Dun Dungeons and Dragons like a handful of times a few years back, but a lot of this is like really refreshing my memory of, of playing Dungeons and Dragons. If any of you guys have played Dungeons and Dragons, uh, let me know in the comments below. I'd love to, love to hear your thoughts on this game and Dungeons and Dragons in general. So let's continue. Right, click on fight whenever you're ready to begin combat. I'm assuming the ranger will probably have, yeah, there we go. The orc is now in overwatch, which means he's keeping an eye on the area and will attack any enemy that enters it. Since he has not moved before going into overwatch, he can make two overwatch shots. If he had moved, he would only be able to make one shot. Right, okay. A ranger could move forward, but this would get him shot by the orc in Overwatch. Too dangerous. Time to talk about the ability to delay your turn. Right, da da da, delay the turn. Okay, that's delay. Uh... Right, so that's his Overwatch. Okay, so this is the overwatch area. The enemy is watching. If one of your characters is in this area, they'll be targeted by overwatch shot. Right. During movement, you can set some waypoints by holding left control. This will give you the ability to determine a specific path of your character. 
Move your thief closer by setting waypoints on the highlighted tiles. Okay, so, right, there's the overwatch, and I don't think you can move from that, otherwise it stops overwatch. So I go dead, dead, dead. Now orient thief towards the wall. Ah, uh, okay. That'll be what the extra press is. I thought I had the double press. Nice. The elf is a former pony grooming champion braiding category. She's also the least bad character with the bow and has some support skills that could be quite useful. <laughs> well, as long as she's the least bad. <laughs> right. So, mouse over the highlighted. Oh, okay. Aiming arcs enable you to preview which targets you can reach by mousing over a tile. The color of the arcs varies depending on your precision. And you can't shoot if in melee range, unless they're stunned, or well, CC basically. Okay, so we'll move the elf here. And, all oh, right, range attack. Oh, there's a chance, if it's highlighted Norris, there's a chance I can hit my teammates. All right, got it. Now oh, my luck. <laughs> Straight in his head. Now that the Orc's vigilance has been cancelled, you can safely move the ranger forward onto the highlighted tile. All right, now let's talk about support. When an ally is orientated towards your target, like the thief here, they will provide you with their support. Usually support will grant you a 5% bonus to your precision, and you can stack multiple supports, but only with melee attacks. Well, um, players with high charisma will gain a higher bonus to their precision. Right, okay. Power in numbers, basically. Each character controls the three tiles in front of them, so if an enemy loses the area, they will be hit by an opportunity attack. Oh, sweet. What if I... I don't know. Let's finish him off. What does that do? Oh, it's defensive stance. Kadonk. Victory! Awesome. Four gold coins. <laughs> Name ass longbow. Fantastic. And we can heal everyone. Alright. We, we did, thanks to my perfect planning. Let's keep going. The others can't be that far. Right, so we're still missing the Wizardess, Ogre, Barbarian, and Dwarf. Ah, finally, there you are! Yeah, well, we had to fight off hordes of orcs to get here. Bloodthirsty and cunning orcs, mind you. And you wouldn't believe the stink in those toilets. Uh, you're losing me. He says he's stuck and can't open the gate. Looks like some kind of pantry, but it's empty. He says he only had a small bite. Mm. I see. There must be some kind of mechanism somewhere. Levers can be far from the mechanism they activate. Let's to get the room for a lever or lever for my American friends to free the ogre. You can use the. What's that supposed to be? 
tab to highlight any interactable objects in your surroundings. Ah, yeah, tab it is. Here we go, it's opening. Do be a buddy, yippee. Aw, I'm happy too, buddy. I'd have expected him to bend the bars. He was too anxious to be on his own. Ogres are very sensitive. All the cumbersome stuff the party finds usually ends up stashed in the ogre's bag, because he's the strongest. Since it's rather impractical to rummage through, we've come up with an interface for you. Cool. Open inventory to check out the contents. Here goes bag. And how do I do that? Ah, I see. Inventory. Bandage. Longbow. Minor health potion, easy dungeon. <laughs> okay. There's a weight limit to inventory, so you can't just carry around everything. Yeah. So. All oh, right, it's already I can't I can't like unselect the bow. All weapons share before the same four stats, but some also have additional magical properties. Okay, the damage, precision, critical chance, critical damage. Each character can be equipped with the main weapon and a secondary, with the only exception the ogre and the wizardess, who only have one weapon slot. The ranger can equip a bow as a secondary weapon. Okay, let's equip that bow. Wait. Ah, he's kind of cute. Injuries, oh no. Injuries are permanent attribute penalties that can be healed with specific consumables or by resting in a tab. Well, they're not permanent then, but okay. You'll suffer the penalty associated with the injury as long as it's not healed. If your character falls in combat again or still wounded, the injury will get worse. Right, okay. And there's three wound thresholds. You can use a bandage. Nice. Careful with my books! The poor get poorer. <laughs> oh, that's too relatable. I've got some nuts for the squirrels. Excuse me. Well, I found some writing materials in his bag. I should be able to map the dungeon now. The wizardess keeps the map updated. It's usually best to act as if you know where you're going. Although I'm pretty used to most players f***ing around by clicking haphazardly. <laughs> for personally attack. All right, the wizardess is in charge of the dungeon map and the quest journal. Open it to learn more. All Ooh, right. What a pretty drawing. What is it? Okay, press journal on the left, yep, and the map is on the right, obviously. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. I hear something. Someone's coming. Go check it out. Why should it be me? Rangers are usually the scouts. Coward! Yes, sir. It's a perfectly honorable life choice. Time for lunch, guys! Come on! Grab time! Intruders. Let's eat them too! Maybe I could go back to the inn to ask for help. Shut up! We got no use for whips. You have to fight like everybody else. <laughs> okay, now that you gathered some of your party, your characters have unlocked their best skills, which will prove useful to, f to defeat these orcs. Alrighty, well, I don't think I am I not getting a movement phase? Okay, I guess not. The ranger is the or is a jack of all trades. Range attack support heals. He has a lot of options. Select one of his tactical skills for more. Tactical charge, sorry, tactic charge, tactic defensive maneuver. 
Uh... Oh, okay. Here for precision. Every skill costs stamina and has a cooldown period. You'll gain back some stamina at the beginning of every turn. Ah, yes, I see the stamina bar. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much what I read. Okay. No? Select and use this tactic. I thought I did. Oh, I have to click. Right, I see my mistake. You have to actually click on, on my to like buff everyone. Now move your ranger on the highlighted tile. Uh, I guess like that. <laughs> right, okay. So the ogre is the most brutal character. He's not very accurate and he needs support from other characters, which obviously improves precision. So let's get him over here. They can push an enemy back two tiles. Uh, since the ranger is oriented towards your target, the orc will also be targeted by opportunity attack if he's pushed back. Okay, so let's, let's yeet him. <laughs> nice, nice teamwork there. The Wizardess is your AoE specialist. She's frail, but her powerful attacks can hit multiple enemies simultaneously. Some of her attacks can also inflict some powerful status effects like burning and frozen. Alright, let's take cover over here. Spells cost astral energy. So rather than stamina, I have astral energy. Great, so wind vortex dealing AoE damage. Yeah, that's pretty cool. The Sneaky Strike is an attack that can dish out a lot of damage, but only if your target is facing away from you. Okay. Since there are no orcs in range, facing away from you, delay your turn and let them act first. Alright. Oh, yeah. Let's position the elf behind the cover. And then. Elven Ricochet, a surprising shot that deals damage and can ricochet up to two times. Oh, each ricochet can hit anyone, friend or foe, within a two tile radius. Uh, okay. <laughs> I made an oopsie, didn't I? <laughs> yes, you did. Oh no! So they wrecked the ogre there. So now this guy's opened himself up to uh, sneaky sneaky over here. And then we will sneak strike. Is that just out of range? Or can I actually hit him from there? Oh, I can hit him. Um, we'll move him just out of the way, slightly, and end the turn. And that is... Oh, I can cure minor wounds. Let's see what this does. Oh, wow, that's like a full heal. Nice.
Um, delay your turn. I wonder if you can actually hit from from there. I don't think so. No. But I guess I can just move here and then shoot. Oh, I moved too far. Magic not good. Sweet. We'll heal everyone. Uh, gold coins and some armbands. Wow, what a fight! Still, those orcs weren't in fighting shape. I think they were running from something. If that's the case, so should we. Enough defeatism. Let's go. We still have to find the dwarf and the barbarian. Five sixty experience on all heroes. I'm really liking how, obviously, this is a D and D kind of inspired game, but they've really, um, they've really like built each character with very different personalities. You should always note your escape routes on a map. Well, that's pretty obvious where to go. I mean, it was obvious anyway, but even more so. Come on, have a taste of my act, you orc scum. There's one dwarf yet in this dungeon who still draws breath. Yes, we'll kick your face in. You're lucky we're here. You're in over your head. Nothing's over my head. I'm tall for a dwarf. <laughs> Cool. Well, they've automatically got into um, defensive position, so. Alright, so we've got three on the left. And three on the right. One the. They bring the melee squad. Maybe that's too far. Wait, do they have ranged weapons? No, they look mellow. Well, Baron is a powerful, nimble fighter. He can move a little further than his companions, and he hits hard. However, his protection is rather low, and his precision is not that good. Uh, okay. Steel Barrage targets all three tiles in front of him. Oh, that's a nice cleave. And obviously if I run away, I'll just get hit. Oh dear. These orcs can knock you down, although there's a chance to resist. Thanks to your physical resistance. Knockdown character will skip their turn and it's easier to hit. Okay. A dwarf is a noble descendant of the Gadil. <laughs> Shiny ass and as such was predestined to an adventure. Okay, heavy armor, shields, gold coins. A typical dwarf. Alright, as I am weakened and surrounded, I need to go into defensive stance. Raises your character's protection and lowers the precision of any enemy attacking you until the next turn. And will also protect me from crits. But it will get cancelled if the character gets stunned or knocked over. Or scared. Okay. Oh, I can move these crates. Nice. And then I should be able to. I guess I'll start running. Oh, I can't move. I see. Uh oh, got hit by a critical hit. Wolverine is now unconscious. He's not fully out of action yet, but you have a limited number of turns to rescue him with a healing spell or potion. Right, okay. So, yeah, I think I found this earlier. I'll heal you up. I've got your back. What? Uh, 
probably stay here. Yeah, I can't move anymore. I'm now immobilized. What's this guy doing over here? Oh, it's an archer. Yes, I'll, uh... Bring this guy over here. Sweet, I miss. Can I reach from here? <laughs> it's worth. <laughs> yeah, it's worth. I guess what I can do is I can send the thief uh me to take that guy out. Oh yeah, I should have done that. Use charge. Finish these jabronis off. Um, right, and turn. What do we have here? Your cack charge deals damage and knocks over your target. Is that like a? Hey, why not? Let's try this out. Kinda cool. Right, let's end that turn. Ah, yes, the ogre. Um, let me see. I mean, those guys are pretty much done. I guess I can start moving him up to here. And I'll get a defensive bonus from that. Can I? Oh, no, that's a bit scary. So, if I move here, I think I can still cast? Yes. Ah, damn. That's unfortunate. Oh, it's only a melee only. Of course it is. Ah, uh, I've screwed up here. Oh, no, melee. Uh, Yeah, that's fine. You guys go for that. Your magic is shite. Pure unadulterated <laughs> shite. <laughs> uh. Right, uh, if we go there. Sorry, Thief, I don't think you uh, are going to get much action in this one. Is there really much point? Let's see if I can... Oh no, it's too far away for that. Is it? Range attack. Oh, it's just out. Not too, not too worried about this lone archer at the back here. His time will come. Right, so let's just take this this dude out. 
Get behind him. Oh no, it's because I, <laughs> I always forgot that. I can't remember the name of that attack, but obviously I moved right next to him, so he was able to hit me. Oh, that was a big hit. Big damage. I should have moved. Whoops. Closing in. But unfortunately, that was a sprint. Your time has come, Lone Archer. Alright, wait, what's her issue? On fire? That is unfortunate. Oh, can this? No. Well, it can, but it'll hurt me. <laughs> Uh, well, in that case, oh, whoopsie. And that hit there, no. Well, ah, well, that's just Overwatch here. But sneaky, sneaky behind this table. It's just out. But I'm burning. Ouch. Ah, you're fine. Ah, screw it. Let's just go for it. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Give some precision. Because I don't think I'm going to be getting there before the archer dies. Wait, is that as far as I can go? If I go there, right behind him. Should be able to get some nice damage out. Look, look at that. Your enemies are fle fleeing. I thought I killed them all. <laughs> I'll try to run to the yellow. Oh, I see. I just appeared. If they make it, you will earn less experience in some battles. Right, okay. Well, I don't think he's going to make it. If I'm if I'm quite honest, because he is blocked in. <laughs> oh, why didn't that push him back? Absolutely surround him. Will that work? It does not work. Can't do it from the sides. Let's maybe finish it off with a little, little drop shot. Well, I probably made that far more complicated than I had to, but uh, <laughs> that was really fun. I enjoyed that. What did we get? Antidotes, boots, a dodgy pot. <laughs> this rusty pot is covered in a thick, goopy layer of concealed, concealed, congealed fat. Gross. I was thirsty. Look 
work out. It's a weirdo. Old dude with staff. A wizard! It looks more like a broom. Uh, hello? Hey, pay no attention to me. In fact, you shouldn't even be able to see me. It's just my invisibility ring acting up again. He's a wizard. He looks more like a janitor. Well, that's very reductive. I'm the head cleaning operative of this dungeon's mortuary maintenance, Janos Hitor. I deal with the corpses left behind by adventurers. The smell would get unbearable without me. I'm gonna yum yum orc him. He's just gonna eat his orc if you don't mind. I don't, as long as the floor stays clean and it means less work for me. Ew, I'm gonna be sick. We're looking for a way to the next floor. Usually, people like to take the stairs. Yes, but there are some magic locks. Really? Didn't notice them. I must be immune thanks to a spell of mine which enables me to go wherever blood has been spilt. We could make him take it to the dungeon, master. Yes, take us with you. Nuh-uh. No time for such threats. Got work to do. A wizard. That was a wizard. He realized he should withdraw with haste. Who's this haste guy? <laughs> right. Uh, any consumables you find can be equipped in your character's belts from your inventory. Oh, nice. That's cool. So I think for the first episode, we're going to hold it there. Um, let me know what your guys' thoughts are of this game in the comments below. I am, I am quite eager to find out if you guys are enjoying this game or planning on getting this game or, or whatever. Uh, I have enjoyed it. I have enjoyed it. It's, it's a little childish, but um, the gameplay is engaging. I'm, I'm fun and I've not seen any glaring bugs or anything apart from these little bugs on the on the floor here So yeah, that's it from me. Thanks for watching guys and see you in the next one